Huawei smartphone from the latest Mate 10 series. Launched in Pakistan with the Mate 10 and Mate 10 Pro, it is mid range one, Mate 10 Lite. The one we got here is Graphite Black model. It is with 64 GB storage and 4 GB RAM. With one year of official warranty from Airlink, the phone costs around 300 US dollars or 30,000 Pakistani rupees. Let's open the box. This is simply a warranty card from Airlink. Product labeling down there on the box. Let's just slide it out of the box. And here it is. The Huawei Mate 10 Lite. You can see all the major features on the wrapper. 4.9 inch full view display, 4 cameras. This is the selfie superstar as they call it. And the RAM and storage and battery. Dual camera on the back and an LED flash. It is actually a good looking mid-range smartphone with literally narrow bezels and metal build on the back. Let's keep the phone on the side and take a look at the box content. That's a big container with a SIM ejector hanging outside. There are basic components shipped along. These two small sections seem to be empty. Yes, they are. Here we have standard 3.5mm earphones. There is a 2 ampere standard charger with no fast charging of course. And here it is, the standard micro USB cable. Yes, the phone doesn't have USB Type-C unlike its high-end siblings. There's another little box in there. It seems to be a protective cover for the phone. It's transparent and must be useful for many as mostly customers would want to buy it additionally. Thankfully, it comes free with the phone. Let's move these things aside and take a look at the phone itself. And here it is, the Mate 10 Lite. As you can see, it's the graphite model, graphite black model with matte finish. There's the dual camera on the back along with the fingerprint scanner, flashes on top cutting through the antenna stripe. Like usual, the product labeling is on the bottom. On the left, there's a SIM slot. You can use two SIM cards simultaneously or one SIM card and one micro SD card otherwise. Power and volume buttons are on the right side. Down there is the audio jack, a mouth piece, a micro USB port and a speaker wheel. When everything is all stayed at the bottom, the top of the phone doesn't have anything but a secondary mic for noise cancellation or stereo audio recording. On the front there is a dual camera, a pair of 13 and 2 megapixel cameras. You can check the camera result in detail with the link in the description. The front screen has now moved to full view display with 18 by 9 aspect ratio and narrow bezels containing a 5.9 inch display. This mid-range phone is powered by Kirin 659 processor. Sure, it is not anywhere near its power brother, the Mate 10. You can take a look at them both side by side. While both have 5.9 inch displays, you can clearly see the light model is following the new trend of dollar screens unlike the Mate 10 which has pretty standard 16 by 9 display. Just notice how the standard screen of Mate 10 seems too wider now against an 18 by 9 display. Likewise the Mate 10 Lite is a bit taller in size as well. The biggest thing is that you won't get the premium glossy finish of Mate 10 on this light model. 
let alone those like a camera, which is a double as expensive deal. The dual camera light adjusts the standard set of camera units comparatively. So that the Mateo light is up and running, you must know that it runs Android 7 Nougat, unlike Mate 10, which is running Oreo out of the box. But expect the light to get Oreo sooner than later as promised. The thing is, the full view display on Mate 10 light is extremely gorgeous to look at. It is good that the company maintained the minimal bezels in the mid range model, they are pretty much like the high end model. Just look at them. This mid-ranger will obviously not compare to the high-end Mate 10 or Mate 10 Pro, but it's good and smooth to run most of the tasks including games. Coming over at camera, the Mate 10 Lite offers a lot of features but unlike Mate 10 and MUI 8, the Lite model still has the older interface of MUI 5 with everything arranged into the left select. Everything like auto and pro modes have to be selected separately. Unlike Mate 10, that has improved user experience by allowing to switch between auto and pro mode right from the viewfinder. Unlike Mate 10 sensor-based monochrome feature, the Mate 10 Lite has only software-based black and white filter. However, slow motion and time-lapse options are also there. With dual camera setups on front and main camera, the phone features portrait and aperture mode to give bokeh effect on your selfies as well as on close-up shots. So this was the unboxing and quick tour of Mate 10 Lite. Do give your feedback and subscribe to our channel. Also read description for detailed review.